It is uh, the responsibility of the government, or any government, to be able to protect its people. And it's upon the government of Kenya to protect its people who are in Kenya and even those who are without Kenya. And uh, here is a case where Kenyans have been uh, wrongly jailed. Uh, first of all, they were incarcerated for a long time, finally jailed in South Sudan. Uh, without evidence of wrongdoing and uh, the government is not doing much to ensure that they are released. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has confirmed uh, in written that uh, there was no crime committed by the four Kenyans who are jailed for life in South Sudan and uh, they have uh, they, they, they said that they were going to work it out that uh, they are released. But up to today, there is no communication. The, 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 the cabinet secretary, Amina Mohammed, is not even uh, picking calls of today. She's not accepting any meetings. And uh, she's the one who is supposed to front for the release of these Kenyans. We are very concerned that uh, Amina is even uh, campaigning or the, the, the government is campaigning to have Amina to head the AU. If uh, she cannot even work to release uh, Kenyans that she has confirmed that were jailed wrongfully in South Sudan, uh, what more uh, does she think she can be able to do? What is she going to do at the AU if it is not for the benefit of uh, Kenyans and Africa? Oh, we, 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 we are also talking to the, to the presidency here because uh, the president can be able to talk to the uh, presidency of uh, South Sudan to ensure that these Kenyans are released. If we were talking about criminals here, then we would let the law take its course. If they were criminals uh, confirmed and uh, jailed uh, in, in South Sudan, according to the laws of that country, then we would be talking another story. But here is a case where the government has uh, confirmed that these people are not guilty. This, there was no evidence that of crime uh, done and that they were supposed to be released and here they are they have been jailed for life and uh, i mean citizens of uh, south sudan who are supposed to be in jail are not in jail so it is uh, we we are calling upon the government we are demanding upon the government to ensure that these kenyans are brought, brought back home because there is no reason why they should be there the president himself president huru kenyatta declared that when, when they came out of ICC, that no other Kenyan will be tried in a foreign court. Now, wh why he, is he not uh, uh, protecting these Kenyans to uh, being tried in a foreign court, being jailed wrongfully in a, in a foreign land? Why is the president not coming on board to be able to speak for them? Right now, they are doing a, a big campaign for AU positions. Why are they not also campaigning for these Kenyans to be able to be brought home? Oh, it is very sad that families are suffering here. Fa these families have even camped at the office, uh, at the foreign affairs office, for days. But then the government is turning deaf ears on them. We are calling upon the government to act on this, or it will force us to go out and protest on the streets for these Kenyans, for all, all Kenyans, know what's happening for the for these Kenyans to be released, for even the government of South Sudan. To, to, to tell us what exactly is happening, what, what, what deal is between the government of Kenya and the government of South Sudan that they do not want to speak about these Kenyans who are jailed there wrongfully. Uh, from, from now on, we, 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 we are waiting for the government to tell us what they are going to do when these Kenyans are going to come back, what they are doing currently, because uh, the families need to be, uh, to be uh, informed what is happening because there has been silence for, so many, silence for so many months. So the government must communicate and they must ensure that these Kenyans are brought back home. Thank you.